जय जय नवला किशोर जय गोपी चित चोर प्रभो जय जय मा चो श्री कृष्ण चंद्र भगवान की श्री तुलसी देवी की जगत गुरु शिल प्रभुपाद की उपस्थित भगवत कथा अनुरागी पधारे हुए भक्त वृंद इस सभा को परम सुशोभित करने वाले हरे कृष्ण प्लीज एक्सेप्ट अवर हम्बल ओबिसियंसिस टू श्रीला प्रभुपाद गुरु एंड गोरांग आई एक्सप्रेस माय हार्ट फेल ग्रेटिट्यूड एंड वॉम वेलकम to all the senior vaishnavas devotees of international society of krishna consciousness i also extend my heartfelt gratitude and greetings to all the devotees present from all the parts of the world through zoom youtube facebook etc in particular i would like to welcome my beloved friend from cincinnati bhavgrahi prabhu ji who is a part of the group of mangla aarti और साथ ही साथ भगवान प्रेम शुद्ध प्रेम प्राप्त करने हेतु टू गेट द प्योर डिवोशनल सर्विस ऑफ द लॉर्ड इन द मेमोरी और रेवरेंस ऑफ पावन स्मृति श्री सत्यम शर्मा एंड अर्चा सूरी माता जी लाभार्थ थे ये सुगे भागवत कथा का आयोजन करने वाले पायस रिसर्च एंड to get the pure devotional service of the lord unki dharma patni shaila sharma jagat dinesh prabhu ji shaila mata ji shaila mata ji who stay in vrindavan alka ji aur australia sydney mein rehne wale alka mata and from sydney our beloved shyamanand prabhu shyamanand prabhu ji madhvi mata ji केशव नेताय एंड वृंदा आप सभी भक्तों का श्रीमद् भागवत कथा वी वेलकम यू ऑल षष्ठ दिवस में ऑन द सिक्स डे ऑफ दिस ब्यूटीफुल कथा एंड अवर हम्बल ओबिसियंस इज एट योर लोटस फीट राधे राधे श्याम इसे कोई पहले से सोचा नहीं था लेकिन जब मैं बोला ष्ठ दिवस में आपका हार्दिक स्वागत आई हैड एन थॉट अबाउट इट बट वेन आई सेड नैन यूर आई एम वेलकमिंग यू ऑन द सिक्स डे सो ऑन द सिक्स डे दूतना हु केम टू किल बट हर शिशुम चचार निगनती पूरे ग्राम व्रजादिशु सा खेचरी कदोपेत्य पूतना नंद गोकुलम योषित माय यात्मा प्राविशत कामचारिणी सुखदेव जी ने बहुत सुंदर पूतना का वर्णन किया अनेक श्लोकों में सुखदेव जी ने वर्णन किया कारण यही था सुखदेव जी 
बेटी भी थी लेकिन आई थी सच कह के कह रहे हैं describes putna in beautiful terms although she came to kill to kill put uh, lord shri krishna but she came with so much beauty and she was not exactly killed because if somebody goes to the lower planets that is called the so that is called the death of a living entity but she was given the position of a mother in his eternal abode maharaj prikshit asks that what did putna did that she got the position of a mother and that too in the eternal abode of the lord she was sent by kansa to kill lord shri krishna but she had done only one good thing and that was she was wearing tulsi mala or tulsi beads in her neck and she was wearing the vaishnav tilak on her forehead and lord shri krishna didn't saw anything except that she is wearing the tulsi beads and putna ke ang par tulsi aarti ko dekh kar she is wearing the putna ka tilak on her face so bhakto tulsi so tulsi chi is very glorious and magnificent anant anant janm se paap kiye ho even if we have committed huge mountains of sins in all aaj aapko bahut kuch batana hai dheere dheere file khul rahi hai dimag mein so we need to discuss this in detail dete hi honge itna acha chehra lekar baithe hain so you all might be watering tulsi ji plant and while offering the water to tulsi ji then what mantra should be spoken so we should remember that there are two type quite a few ways to offer water to tulsi ji some offer with a spoon and others with a <laughs> with a vessel and now we will be discussing the shloka and by seeing your enthusiasm to note and learn the shloka makes me work harder although it's in our scriptures but i'm sure that even half of the people will be unaware of this verse aneko prakar ke atmani ke chamach se kisi ko kisi rishi ka lota hi dalte hain lekin tulsi ko jal dal sabse acha tarika ye jo bagiche mein so the best way to flower or to offer the water to tulsi maharani is तो बेस्ट वे टू वॉटर तुलसी जी विथ अ स्प्रिंकलर देन तुलसी जी बिकम्स वेरी हैप्पी एंड वाइल बेदिंग तुलसी जी वी शुड chant this verse in present in front of your screens om govind vallabham devi bhakt chaitanya karinim 
स्नापयामि जगत धात्री कृष्ण भक्ति प्रदायिनी कृष्ण भक्ति प्रदायिनी ओम सबसे पहले इंडिकेट है सो द फर्स्ट वर्ड इज ओम which indicates the opening of the verse and om is a very pious word so govind vallabham is means that she is a beloved of govind and bhakt chaitanya karinam that means that you provide consciousness to the devotees our devotion towards the lord is mata pita ke sanskar without any jews to hai lekin bhakti shithil ho chuki hai and it's slow but if we offer water to tulsi maharani then it energizes the devotees and she fills the devotees with pure loving devotional service towards the lord हे हे जगत की माता ओ द मदर ऑफ द यूनिवर्स आई एम आपको स्नान करा रहा बेदिंग यू क्योंकि आप कृष्ण भक्ति प्रदायिनी बिकॉज यू प्रोवाइड द प्योर डिवोशनल सर्विस और भक्ति टुवर्ड्स द लॉर्ड याद रहे यू शुड रिमेंबर that this is the verse to hum do jal to be chanted while offering water to tulsi maharani acha hoga bhagwan si krishna bhagwan si vishnu ke vigrah ka jo charan jal hai it will be very auspicious if we offer the water that has been offered to the lord then it should be offered to tulsi maharani that would be very auspicious but if it's not possible then at least we should offer water to tulsi maharani thrice and accordingly we should use the quantity wisely so this is how to offer water to tulsi maharani so when we have to choose the tulsi leaves to use it for devotional service towards the lord then there are two verses that are mentioned in the scriptures so let's discuss that in front of your screen tulsi mrut janmasi sada tvam keshava priye केशवार्थ चीनो मीतवा वरदा भवशो भने वरदा भवशो भने क्या कहते हैं तुलसी मृत वट इज दिस मीन्स हेयर इन दिस वर्स it's beautifully mentioned that iski sandhi vichhed karenge if we break the word amrit janmasi then it means tulsi amrit janmasi that means that tulsi maharani ji was manifested from nectar and it is mentioned in padma puran let me discuss in brief so yesterday we discussed how tulsi maharani और वृंदा देवी मैनिफेस्टेड और भी एक अन्य कथा है सो देर इज अनदर तुलसी जी का पास टाइम मेंशन इन द पुराणास भागवत जी में वर्णन है सो इन श्रीमद् भागवतम देयर इज अ रेफरेंस दैट देयर वाज और उस चर्निंग ऑफ द ओशन बाय डेमीगॉड्स एंड डीमंस एंड the most pleasure was enjoyed by lord vishnu devta aur gaano lekin because of churning of the ocean because 
demons and demigods both are sons of kashyap muni but they never see eye to eye but after so many yugas or so much time they agreed to come to a conclusion that they should come together and churn the ocean and that is why lord vishnu was very happy so the lord is happy only when people live with peace if there is a conflict between people lord never gets happy and if we understand the gravity of the relationship of a devotee then we should let go money prestige ego etc because the lord doesn't get happy or satisfied with such an attitude so demigods and the demons came together and so lord vishnu was highly elated and happy and he was happy another reason was that lord god god his lakshmi ji foot manifest through the churning of the ocean so these two were the reasons that lord vishnu was smiling so much that it's mentioned in the puranas that because he was so happy that tulsi maharani manifested from lord vishnu's smile so it means that it is a epitome of the pleasure of lord shri vishnu and vishnu ji put her on his head that is why it is mentioned that the tulsi ji is amrit janmasi so this is the past time behind this verse so as she was born during the churning of the ocean and as you live eternally as beloved of keshav and we are choosing you to serve the lord so please allow us that we choose you and we are able to serve the lord so the next verse is oh the goddess the leaves manjari or the leaves that manifest in your plant that manifest on a daily basis and i want to serve the lord with these leaves and flowers from you so, so please make give us a solution that please give us a permission to choose your leaves and flowers and if tulsi maharani says that why only me then it it's, it's mentioned that because you are pavitrangi that means you are pious and you are capable to destroy the does of 
द कल युगाशिनी टक ऐसा आवाज आना चाहिए टक करके एक पत्र देन वी कैन प्लग अ लीव और फ्लावर देन After saying the same two shlokas, then you can pluck another tree, and we should pluck them with great care. They should not get hurt. It's mentioned in the Puranas that that first we have to say the verse to Beth Tulsi Maharani, then two verses. while plucking so when we pluck the tulsi leaves then their mind we pain because if somebody plucks over here we get pain so although we are using the tulsi leaves for serving the lord but still to get rid of the pain that we have given to her then we should say this verse asking for forgiveness at the end why we have plucked all the leaves yadaridi tava vartate tava kshamasva jagan mata tava kshamasv jagan mata वृंदा देवी नमोस्तुते वृंदा देवी नमोस्तुते श्लोक भी बड़े सरल हैं यदि इसे समझे दीस वर्सेस आर वेरी सिंपल इफ वी ब्रेक दिस वर्ड चयनो मीन दैट नाउ दैट वी हैव प्लग द तुलसी लीव्स एंड because of that you might have suffered pain bhavat dukham cha yat riti tav vartate yo to humne hamare liye nahi prabhu ke liye and although we have plucked your leaves for lord shri hari but still dukh vartate aapke hriday mein yadi dukh hua hai your heart might have suffered pain so please forgive us for the same so please forgive me he vrinda oh he tulsi maharani i bow down at your lotus feet and ask for your forgiveness so the, in this way our acharyas have yadi samay ho samajhna ho given minute minute details apne vedu mein puran and if we need, really need to understand then we should try to understand the vedas and scriptures like upanishads etc and you all are taking time to hear this so you all are great so let's start the katha i want to share three past times so today you will have to use your brain and your memory power so i want to discuss three past times and i would like to discuss the importance and similarities in these past times so so the of the three yugas in treta yuga lord ramchandra manifested and he went to the gurukul to study and while come when he came back lord sage vishwamitra took him to the forest and after delivering the wife of gautam muni ahilya he went to janakpuri the the city of god is sita and there janak maharaj has organized a marriage ceremony of his daughters 
and they had a huge divine bow of lord shiv and they janak maharaj had taken a vow that whoever is able to tie a rope on this bow will marry my daughter sita so many kings collected there and at the same time vishwamitra muni bought ram ji us pushpa ram ji and sita ji there and there lord ram was choosing flowers to offer them to the lord and he saw sita maharani lekin mera vivah ram ji ke sath and sita ji also saw him and she was thinking in her mind and heart that i should marry him so she has a desire to marry lord ramachandra and for that she surrenders or takes shelter of who the verse in front of your screen giri ja poojana janani pathai ram ji ko pati ke roop mein prapt karne ke liye to get lord shri ramchandra as a husband she takes the shelter of whom so, although you might be aware but let's go with the reference from the shastras or scriptures devi sita girja ki puja girja mane parvati ki puja kar goddess sita went to the shelter of girja the test wife of lord shiva and although prasiddh ghatna hai ki ram ji ko pati ke roop mein prapt karne ke liye sita ji ne parvati who is greater sita ji aur parvati ji but there is a reference that she prays and takes shelter of parvati maharani jay gaj badan shadan namata जगत जननी दा मिनी दुखि दाता देवी सीता अपना आंचल पसार so, कर सीता देवी वेंट विद फोल्डेड हैंड्स एंड आस्क गिरिजा देवी और द डॉटर ऑफ हिमालयस and the beloved of shiv ji so who shines or who is the effulgence of the face of moon like lord shiva main aapki sharan mein aayi hu oh goddess i am in your shelter karuna nidhan and i have seen the ocean of mercy lord shri ram and i pray that he becomes my husband so sita maharani goes to the shelter of a goddess we always say that we should pray to only lord shri krishna but here it's a great principle that you can go to the shelter take shelter of anyone but the goal should be what that is important so the goal 
is important rather than that whose shelter we are taking so sita devi is begging for mercy of goddess parvati so what is the goal here that i want to establish a relationship with lord shri ramachandra so that is what we should learn so even if we have our family dt or goddess but our goal should be clear that we should get their blessings but we should ask them for a relationship with the lord so god sita maharani prayed with so much heart that goddess parvati manifested and even the stone dt started to speak if you have mellow and love and devotion then even the stone can speak so what did that dt said तर सावरो करुणा निधान सुजान सिलु सने हु जानत रावरो एहि भाति गौरीय शीस सुनि सिय सहित हिय हरषि अलि तुलसी भवानी ही पूजी पुनि पुनि मुदित मन मंदिर चली जब हृदय से भाव से देवी सीता ने प्रार्थना सीता महारानी बेग्ड विथ सो मच हार्ट एंड इमोशन विथ टीयर्स इन हर आईज so goddess parvati manifested and the deity started to speak and what does she speaks or says he sita oh sita manu mane man manu means heart tumhare man mein jiske prati aasakti ho chuki hai that the man the person to whom your heart as attached or to whom you have surrendered i know him bole ha to baru sahaj sundar saavaro bahut sundar saavare rang ka roop i know him and he is hamari tarah makeup karke very simple yet he is very handsome karuna nidhan sujan silu sane hu janat raavaro main janti hu tum us karuna nidhan and i am aware that you have surrendered to the ocean of mercy who is full of love and i bestow my mercy upon you that tomorrow you will get married to lord shri ramchandra and when tulsi when goddess parvati gave this boon to her and siya sita ji aur unke sath unke after listening to that sita ji and her friends they all became elated and very happy puni puni mudit man mandir chali aur sita ke man mein param mud param aanand she was in ecstasy us mandir se wapas loti and she was moving out of the temple and goswami tulsi das ji writes siya hi hari shun jay kahi parvati ji ka jab aashirwad mila after getting the benediction from parvati ji so sita maharani was elated and 
she was feeling in immeasurable ecstasy so her body was shivering so when the body is shivering then it signifies that it is very auspicious but if you are shivering for more than 5 10 minutes then you should consult a doctor is you are aware that so Ram Ji came the next day and people were seeing Lord Sri Ram as they had the feelings towards him. So Vishwamitraji was made to sit on a high platform and so were Lord Ramchandra and Lakshmanji sitting as well on a high platform. And all the kings felt jealous and envious of Lord Sri Ram. And they all thought that let, let's focus tie the bow, the thread on the bow, but all failed and it was a futile practice. And Lakshmanji became angry by Janakji's abuse of the kings. And Vishwamitraji saw the time as an opportune time and he indicated to Lord Sri Ram Chandra too tie the bow tehi chan ram tehi chan bhare bhuvan dhuni gora kathora bhare bhuvan dhuni gora kathora Bhagavan Ramchandra ne us dhanush ko tod diya. Lord Shri Ramchandra break the bow of Shivji and they got married. So now my question is that Sita ji got Ramji as her husband. So what was the reason? Because day before the day that yesterday she had went to goddess parvati ji so please remember this one and let's share a pastime of dwapar yuga in dwapar yuga in india or bharat there was a maharashtrian girl so vidharpadesh who had the king of Vidarbadesh has a daughter named Rukmini and she had a desire to marry Lord Sri Krishna and you might be aware that why she had this desire she had heard served so many sages and she had heard quite a few pastimes of Lord Sri Krishna and she became dedicated towards the Lord's lotus feet. But her brother Rukmi, who was a friend of Jarasan and his friend Jarasan told him that your sister should not marry Krishna but he should be married to Shishupal. 
so he agreed that his sister should be married to shishupal and rukmini became worried that what will happen as rukmi has arranged to marry her with shishupal and she writes a letter and send it with a brahmana or a wise intelligent messenger so rukmini is unaware whether krishna will come or not and on the day she is to get married to shishupal and there was a custom that whenever a girl is married she should first go to the temple of goddess parvati and take benediction from her so sita ji took the shelter of parvati ji to marry ramchandra and rukmini ji takes shelter of parvati ji so this is the verse by rukmini ji she is going to the temple and she is a confusion and she is anxious whether krishna will come or not so see the verse in front of your screen namasye twambike bhikshanam स्वत्सतायुताम शिव भूयात्पतिर्मे भगवान्तिर्मे भगवान्तुमोदता कृष्णस्तुमोदता Rukmani Uvacha. So Rukmani, Rukmani says, Namaste, or I bow down to you, and to whom does she goes to the shelter of? So she took takes the shelter of Goddess Amba or Durga Devi. So these are our standard and idol devotees. so o oh, goddess amba i bow down numerous time at your lotus feet shivam aapke santano ko bhi pranam aapke pati ko bhi pranam i bow down to your children and your husband lord shiva and if goddess amba asks that what do you want why you're going down to me bole mera pati she says that i want her, my husband to be lord shri krishna who is bhagwan or the supreme personality of godhead so please give me such a benediction or boon so rukmini ji takes the shelter of goddess amba so this is the verse in front of you so she goes to the shelter of goddess amba and amba devi gave her the benediction so the signs of pure devotional service towards the lord means that we should have focus on one as our lord that is the supreme personality of god it but at the same time it doesn't means that we should be disrespectful to the demigods so a highly elevated devotees of the lord like sita devi or rukmini devi goes and takes the shelter of goddess parvati so they both have a goal 
to get ram chandra or krishna chandra as their husbands so parvati ji or goddess amba says that as you have bowed down at my lotus feet so she tells that krishna is already there in the vidhar pradesh or maharashtra and the kings were prepared to kill or execute krishna as soon as he entered maharashtra and lord shri krishna comes in his transcendental chariot and he came like the lightning of a thunderstorm and nobody realized that when he came when he took rukmini ji with her with his hand and abducted her as a lion in a flash of time takes away his prey and the wolves just keep on shouting so similarly lord shri krishna managed to abduct rukmini devi so this is the second past time so please keep this also in your mind <coughs> so rukmini ji is greater than sita ji and who is greater than rukmini ji are the gopis of braja so till now we have discussed about satyo treta yuga now let's discuss about the dwapar yuga so what is said about the gopis for your knowledge in this month of margashesh that comes after kartik month and in bhagavad gita he says that i am margashesh month in the month so these days are the days of hemant ritu and in this hemante prathame masi winter season starts nand braj kumari and in this first month of winter the young girls of vraja cheru havish bhunja naam bhojan bhog tyag diye they will roti sabji puri not eat food stuff मूंग दाल एटसेट्रा सो इन अवर लैंग्वेज जिसमें नमक भी नहीं डालना जिसे porridge or khichdi that too without salt which is given when we are very ill or very weak so in this month of winter they go and take a dip in yamuna river at 3:30 in the morning and they will make a dt and she will serve the dt and eat only the khichdi so who wash the braj gopis of the braja paying their obeisances to so they were worshiping kotyani katyani devi and what do they say that for this whole month 
they make the deity of clay or sand from the banks of Yamuna and pray to the Khatiani Devi that and pray that the son of Nand Kumar, Lord Sri Krishna, should become our husband. So they fasted for a whole month. And it is mentioned that Krishna took the clothes of these gopis and he bestowed his benediction that I will pay, make you a part of the, my Rasa Leela, the intimate pastime of the Lord. So, you can see in these three verses which mention about Sita Ji, Rukmini Ji and the gopis. So, Sita Ji went to take the, took the shelter of Parvati Ji, Rukmini Ji took the shelter of Ampika Mai and the gopis of Katyani Devi. So, there is a very important point here. So, what does Sita Devi ask as a benediction? She asked Lord Sri Ramachandra as her husband. And what does Rukmini ji ask? She asked that Lord Krishna should be my husband. So she had the mood of magnificence towards the Lord. So that is why she got Lord Shri Krishna. But what does the gopis of Raja ask? So they said that we don't want the ocean of mercy. We don't want the magnificent Krishna. But we want the son of the Kohad Nand Lord Gopal and they got a cohort Krishna as their beloved. So Shripad Sanatan Goswami mentions that these three Ambamata Katyani Devi and Parvati And they all go to a goddess because the goddess is full of mercy as she is a mother figure. She is a mother. So, so these three got Lord as their beloved husband. But how, if we want Krishna to be our friend, husband or master so what should we do? So if we want a relationship with the Lord then we also need to take shelter of a motherly figure as she is full of mercy and love. So there was a question that in Kali which mother should we take shelter of if we want to have a relationship with the Lord? So in the scriptures, it's mentioned that if you want the love of Supreme Personality of Godhead, then we should take the shelter of Vrinda Maharani. Priyaye Keshavasya Cha Krishna Bhakti Prade Devi Satyavatye Namo Namah
मैं ये दावा नहीं कर रहा हूं कि ये श्लोक आप पहली बार सुन रहे हैं ये हजारों बार सुन चुके हैं लेकिन connecting this that in previous yugas the devotees used went to amba devi katyani devi or goddess parvati but in this kali yuga we should take the shelter and we do pure devotional service towards vrinda devi to get the pure loving devotional service of the lord so it's mentioned that vrinda devi is mentioned as the mother of this universe antakari padma puran mein tulsi stotra mein aisa in padma puran in tulsi stotra it's mentioned that that this tulsi stotra is chanted then he will get rid of the 32 offenses and what is one of the offense aap vishnu ki priya ho aur brahma aadi devta jo hai srishti priti you are beloved of lord vishnu and the demigods like brahma vishnu they all bow down at your lotus feet and they get their energy from you tulsi ji ke 12 naam so we have heard about eight names of tulsi maharani but in padma puran there are 12 names which are mentioned here in front of your screen vidya avidya yashasvini dharmya dharmanana devi dev manah priya ye shlok mein hai aur fir dusre shlok mein anya naam lakshmi priya sakhi devi dho dho bhi ek tulsi ka naam hai भूमिर चला और फिर चला षोडश एतानी नामानी तुलसिया कीर्त नर तो ये दो श्लोक में तुलसी जी के सोलह नाम है सो अब हमें तो इन दीज टू वर्सेस देर आर सोलह नाम को ले सिक्सटी नेम्स ऑफ तुलसी महारानी एंड द फ्रूट इज वॉट आफ्टर रिसाइटिंग दीज नेम्स the person gets fixed in his pure devotional service towards the lord and at the end of his life he gets the eternal position of lord vishnu messenger puranon mein kahi gayi swayam bhagwan ke dwara tulsi ji ki archana aur seva ki gayi aise itihas hamare vedon mein puranon mein bataya gaya hai it's mentioned that lord krishna has prayed to tulsi maharani it's mentioned that krishna himself had sowed tulsi plant and while roaming in vrindavan for the benefit of all the living entities he resides in vrindavan so vishishth muni the family priest of ramachandra swayam apne haathon se ayodhya mein sariyu ke tal par mention that vishishth ji as ramachandra ji before killing the demons to so tulsi maharani at the banks of sariyu river and in the forest in ek while he was in exile he he sowed tulsi plant in the forest jab ravan dev jo with so much love and when sita ji was abducted by ravana at that time in ashok vatika sita maya used to remember sita ji tulsi ka dhyan tulsi maharani isi se sita ji ko bhagwan ram chandra and that is the reason that she got ramachandra ji back as a husband himalayan mein shiv ji ko prapt karne ke liye tapasya karte it's also mentioned that to get shiv ji as her husband 
Parvati ji also has worshipped to Tulsi Maharani. So, even the goddesses have eaten Tulsi leaves. It is mentioned that the water that drips from Tulsi Maharani and if we get that droplet on our body, then there are two fruits of the same. So if someone is watering a plant and the water drips on someone else, then there might be a quarrel or fight. But if somebody gets the water dripping from Tulsi Maharani, then he gets two benefits. One is that of the taking a bath in the holy Ganges and of giving 10 cows in charity. So it's of a great fortune that we are sitting at the lotus feet of Tulsi Maharani and listening to this beautiful Katha about the glory of Tulsi Maharani. So it's mentioned that if someone listens to the glories of Tulsi Maharani, then he gets three benefits. First, that they will never get ill or sick. And there is a proof that as I was not well when the Katha started, but as the Katha started, I became better and better. So the illness gets removed. And secondly, the ignorance gets removed. And thirdly, he will be eternally powerful and he will never lose a fight. So even in the battlefield of Kurukshetra, Krishna never forgets about Tulsi Marani. So let's take a short break and we'll continue in some moments. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. So, Bhad Bhad Daniyal Prabhu Ji, Aaj Bhadi Sundar Ham, Yahaan Par Is Tulsi Mahima Ke Antar Gat, Aaj Bhadi Kun Chush Chiz Ya Apne Jo Batai, That was actually very practical, Which we should imply in our life. Like, you know, we all are, Hum Log Tulsi Mahima Ko Prati Din Chalar Pan Karte Hain, And we also pluck out Tulsi, to offer Krishna and uh, kis prakar Tulsi Maya ko snan karana chahiye prati din snan karana chahiye aur uske baad jab plucking karte hain so there is a different mantra for that as well and ant mein usko kshama yachana karni chahiye for giving them trouble uske liye bhi aapne ek sundar mantra bataya yahan par so thank you very much and saath hi saath Tulsi ji ki mahima ko shavan karate hoye yahan par humne shavan kiya kis prakar uh, tino yugo mein uh, चाहे वो माता सीता हो या देवी रुक्मणी हो या गोपियां हो इन सबों ने भगवान श्री कृष्ण को या भगवत को प्राप्त करने के लिए और पति रूप में प्राप्त करने के लिए किस प्रकार अलग-अलग देवियों की शरण ग्रहण की और किस प्रकार कलयुग के लिए जो सुंदर मंत्र हम प्रतिदिन चैंट करते हैं एंड दैट इज हाउ दैट कनेक्ट्स टू अस कृष्ण तो वृंदाय तुलसी दिव्याय प्रियाय केशवश्चर व्हिच वी ऑलवेज यू नो हम सब कुछ मरण है और प्रतिदिन हम गाते हैं तो कलयुग के लिए विशेष जो हम मंत्र गा सकते हैं भगवान को प्राप्त करने के लिए आज हमें आस्वादन करने को मिला एंड देन वी हियर मोर अबाउट विन द देवी फ्रॉम भगवत गीता एंड भागवतम एज़ वेल सो थैंक यू वेरी मच रूजी फॉर ऑल दिस यू नो डिलाइटेड स्टफ व्हिच यू आर सर्विंग अस एवरी सिंगल डे एंड लेट अस ऑल हैव अ दर्शन ऑफ आवर गोशाला गो माता विशेष जिनके हम दर्शन करते हैं क्योंकि उन्हीं की कृपा है कि आज हम सब यहाँ पर एकत्रित हुए हैं इस भागवत कथा को श्रवण कर रहे हैं और ऐसी अद्भुत महिमा को आस्वादन कर रहे हैं सो ऑल गोविंद गौशाला हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे सो वंस अगेन हमारे शर्मा फैमिली हैं 
जिनके सुंदर सहयोग से हम यहाँ पर गो माता के दर्शन कर रहे हैं गो माता की विशेष सेवा कर पा रहे हैं और हमारे सत्यम प्रभु तथा अर्चा सूरी माता जी जिनके स्मरण में हम यहाँ पर कदे दिवस इस गौ माता की सेवा कर रहे हैं और इसी के फल स्वरूप हम यहाँ पर प्रतिदिन बिंद देवी को इनकी महिमा को आस्वादन कर रहे हैं सो धन्यवाद कर रहे हैं हमारे शर्मा फैमिली विशेष हमारे श्यामानंद प्रभु और माधवी माता जी तथा ये समस्त शर्मा परिवार जिन्होंने यह अद्भुत सहयोग किया है इसके फलस्वरूप हम यहाँ पर घर पर बैठ हम सबको जो कृष्ण भक्ति में जोड़े रखती है कृष्ण भक्ति में उन्नति कराती है ऐसी वृंद देवी की कथा को आस्वादन करने का अवसर प्राप्त हो रहा है सो so, एक बार फिर से हम धन्यवाद और प्रार्थना करेंगे विशेष हमारे सत्यम प्रभु जी के लिए तथा तो अर्चा शूरी माता जी के लिए कि जहाँ कहीं भी है वो इस प्रकार भगवान की सेवा में लीला कथा को श्रवण करते रहे और उनके शरण में भगवान उनको बनाए रखे ऐसी गौ माता से प्रार्थना करेंगे और भगवान से विशेष और हमारे समस्त वैष्णव समाज जो यहाँ पर यह भागवत कथा श्रवण करके अपने जीवन का कल्याण कर रहे हैं अपने आत्मा का पोषण कर रहा है तो कहीं ना कहीं आप सभी वैष्णव से भी हम निवेदन करेंगे कि आप भी अपने हृदय से अंतर आत्मा से इन वैष्णव को आशीर्वाद दीजिएगा कि वह कृष्ण भक्ति में अग्रसर हो सके और कृष्ण की सेवा में लगे रहे बिकॉज द अल्टीमेट गोल ऑफ लाइफ इज टू बी एंगेज इन कृष्ण सेवा तो आज श्री गुरु गुरुदेव के बहुत सुंदर एक वचन है जो मैंने स्मरण किया था कि किस प्रकार व्यक्ति प्रतिदिवस अपना दिनचर्या किस प्रकार व्यतीत करता है लाइक ही स्पेंस इज डे इन मॉर्निंग लाइक अर्निंग मनी और अंत में रात को सोकर भोगों में पूरा दिन व्यतीत करता है परंतु यदि वह ऊर्ध्व गति को प्राप्त करना चाहता है तो उनके लिए एकमात्र कृष्ण कथा ही शेष रहती है जिससे कि उनका उद्धार हो सके हाँ कृष्ण कथा श्रवण करना कृष्ण के नाम जप करना तो हमें बहुत ही सरलता से सहजता से यह प्राप्त हुआ है प्रयास करना चाहिए कि हम इसे और गंभीरता से लें और अच्छे से श्रवण करें अटेंटिवली श्रवण करें जिससे कि हम भक्ति मार्ग में उन्नति कर सके और आशीर्वाद देंगे इन प्रार्थना करेंगे इन वैष्णव के लिए जो जिन्होंने अपने देह को हाल ही में त्याग किया है उनके लिए कि वह अभी भगवत भक्ति को या भगवान के शरण को प्राप्त करें so thank you very much once again sir my family for this wonderful opportunity which you have given us uh, to hear the glories of shrimati vrindavan devi so bahut bahut dhanyawad aur aap sab se bhi nivedan hai ki aap bhi hamare sath mein is prakar is sahyog mein jud sakte hain jahan par hum pratidin is prakar hamare shivradha ko in goshala mein go mata ki seva kar rahe hain unki seva mein jude hue hain aap bhi hamare sath mein judiye aur is sundar sahyog इस सुंदर कार्य में हम सबको सहयोग कर सकते हैं तो द ओनली वे यू कैन अप्रोच एस इज आवर नंबर विच यू कैन सी इन स्क्रीन राइट नाउ दैट इज सेवन फाइव सिक्स सेवन फाइव फोर डबल फाइव डबल फाइव एंड देन यू कैन ई मेल एस ऑल्सो वेन ऑन सेव अप परफेक्ट एट द रेट जी मेल डॉट कॉम एज वेल एज यू कैन सी द एक्टिविटीज ऑफ अवर गोशाला बाय विजिटिंग अवर वेबसाइट विच इज डब्ल्यू 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 डॉट परफेक्ट सेवा डॉट कॉम सो वी रिक्वेस्ट यू दैट यू कैंडली to serve these wonderful go mothers and uh, uh, get the blessings of krishna or sadhi sadh the wonderful bhagavad gita which we are going to hear in upcoming days is the glories of our go swamis jinki leela katha hum shravan kar rahe hain yahan par jinki tikao se prabhu ji hame jo nectar pradan kar rahe hain prati divas aise hamare ye jo sad go swami hain श्री रूप सनातन भट्ट रघुनाथ श्री जीव गोपाल भट्ट दाखनाथ चरण वंदन जहाँ होना तो ऐसे गोस्वामियों के चरण वंदन करने से हमारे जीवन में जो अनर्थ या जो अभिष्ट है उसका शमन होता है और कृष्ण भक्ति की प्राप्ति होती है तो ऐसे हमारे गोस्वामी हैं जिनकी ये जो हम रूपानुग है श्री रूप गोस्वामी की परंपरा से हम सब जुड़े हुए हैं हम सबकी जो पहचान है श्री रूप गोस्वामी के द्वारा मिली है हमें रूपानु हम गौड़ीय भक्त हैं तो ऐसे हमारे ये गौड़ीय आचार्य शरद गोस्वामी बिंद इनकी भागवत कथा को हम आने वाले दिनों में श्रवण करेंगे और इसके लिए जो डेट्स है आप नोट कर सकते हैं अपने कैलेंडर में और हम उसको शेयर भी कर देंगे बहुत जल्द जिससे कि आप 
इसे अपने कैलेंडर में नोट कर लिया अपने लिए तो आने वाले फर्स्ट दिसंबर से लेकर सिक्स दिसंबर ये भागवतता होने वाली है तो ये छह दिन की भागवतता होगी और जो समय है उसमें परिवर्तन है यूएसए के लिए अभी सुबह दस बजे का समय हो गया है सुबह दस बजे से लेकर दोपहर को एक बजे और जो हमारे यूके के ड्यूटीज है उनके लिए दोपहर को साढ़े तीन बजे से लेकर शाम को साढ़े छह बजे तक और भारत के निवासी रात को साढ़े आठ बजे से लेकर रात को साढ़े ग्यारह बजे तक इस भागवत कथा का समय रहेगा आप सब अपनी उपस्थिति दीजिएगा और हम सब मिलकर इस गोस्वामियों की कृपा को प्राप्त करेंगे इनकी लीला कथा को श्रवण करेंगे प्रभु जी की कृपा रोज से तो वी आर कॉर्डिनेट इन्वाइटिंग यू फॉर दिस भागवत कथा एज वेल एंड क्योंकि ये मैराथन मंथ चल रहा है एज वी ऑल नो दैट डिसम्बर इज वंडरफुल अपॉर्चुनिटी टू डिस्ट्रीब्यूट कृष्ण कथा कृष्ण बुक्स एंड भगवद गीता तो uh, आने वाली फोर्टीन दिसंबर को गीता जयंती है जो कि गीता मैराथन मंथ के नाम से भी हम हमारे इस इस्कॉन जगत में प्रचलित हैं तो आप सब से निवेदन है कि आप सब uh, इस मैराथन में कम से कम एक भगवद गीता है कम से कम अपने स्नेही जनों में या मित्रों में इस भगवद गीता का वितरण कीजिए उन सबको गीता का ज्ञान से अवगत कराइए और शिल प्रभुपाल का जो विशेष अनुग्रह आग्रह है हम सब भक्तों को कि गीता वितरण करें और भक्तों को भगवत गीता प्रदान करें जिससे कि वह भी कृष्ण कथा कृष्ण भक्ति में जुड़ सके ये जो ग्रंथ है साक्षात भगवत स्वरूप है तो आप इनसे लोगों तक पहुंचाइए और भगवान की कृपा को तथा आचार्य की कृपा को प्राप्त कर सकते हैं सो यू कैन ऑल्सो अप्रोच एस फॉर दिस गीता मैराथन ऑन आवर नंबर एज वेल लाइक सेवन फाइव सिक्स सेवन फाइव फोर डबल फाइव डबल फाइव और हेल्पिंग अस टू डिस्ट्रीब्यूट भगवद गीता इन दिस प्लेसिस सो थैंक यू वेरी मच वंस यू कैन आइए श्रवण करते हैं शेष कथा प्रभु जी के मुखार वे से हरे कृष्ण जे तुमार शरण लो तार वंश पूर्ण हो कृपा करी करो तारे वृंदावन वी तुलसी कृष्ण प्रेयसी नमो नम मनुष्य जीवन का सर्वोच्च लक्ष्य है सो द हाइएस्ट गोल ऑफ अ ह्यूमन बर्थ इज टू गेट द लव टू वर्ड्स भागवत और लॉर्ड श्री कृष्ण इट इज मेंशन दैट ऑल द डिवोटीज ऑफ लॉर्ड हरि द गोल शुड नॉट बी इवन द इटरनल अबोर्ड ऑफ द लॉर्ड और वैकुंठा और गोलोक सो वेर एवर ही डिजायर्स टू कीप अस ही शुड कीप अवर ओनली डिजायर शुड बी टू गेट द pure loving devotional service towards the lord and the love towards the lord so what is the process the nine limbs of devotional service so that is the process aur us bhagavat prem ko prapt karne ki sthiti kya hai and what is the position to get this love towards the lord so there are two different things first to get the love of the lord there is a process that is the nine limbs of devotional service shraddha sadhu sang but the anarth nivrutti nishtha ruchi aasakti stages of devotional service are bhagavat prem tab tak nahi milega so until unless we have faith 
में निष्ठा नहीं होगी सो अंटिल अनलेस वी हैव फेथ इन फाइव थिंग्स चीज में निष्ठा हो गई इफ वी हैव फेथ इन दीस फाइव थिंग्स देन टू गेट द लव ऑफ द लॉर्ड विल विष्णु को कृष्ण नॉट बी फार अवे फ्रॉम अस सो इफ समबडी वांट्स टू satisfy lord shri krishna or rama or vishnu then they should have faith in five things that is very important first ekadashi nishtha that is the faith towards performing or fasting on ekadashi aur bhagwan ki prapti karai that on if we fast on an ekadashi then we will get the love of the lord and second is the chanting of the names of the lord charo yug mein charo shruti mein so in all the four yugas the glories of chanting are mentioned but in kali yuga the age of kali there is no other way to get bhagwat prem so third is faith in holy places like jagannath mathura and vrindavan etc then the faith in the bona fide spiritual master and the fifth is the faith towards tulsi maharani it's not about the degrees of faith in these things we should have equal faith in all these five elements unless unless we have faith in on all these five things we won't be able to get the pure devotional service or love of the god we are very fortunate that today to strengthen our faith in tulsi maharani under the guidance and mercy of shrila prabhupad and due to the sharma family who had organized this beautiful katha that we are able to listen to the glories of tulsi maharani tulsi maharani is a plant and she has a jiska naam hai vrinda form as well which is called vrinda so where does vrinda rani stays so if you see at the backdrop of my screen this is the home of vrinda devi so in braj chorasi kos or nand gaon ke bilkul beech between barsana and nand gaon there is a home of vrinda devi where there is a vrinda kund and she stays there with her parrot named daksh management karti hai and she manages the pastimes of lord shri krishna and shrimati radha rani from this place and this place is under the management of iskon and with too much faith love and care this temple is being taken care of and whenever you go and visit vrinda kund braja then you should not forget to visit this vrinda kund kis prakar se bhagwan shri krishna so how lord shri krishna tells arjuna in the battlefield of kurukshetra about vrinda devi shrimad bhagavad gita mein in shrimad bhagavad gita to benefit the living entities making arjuna as the medium or instrument he is telling in the ninth chapter of bhagavad gita he says to arjuna chintayanto mam ye jana pari upasate tesham nitya yukta nam yog kshem vaham yam bahut sundar very beautiful हम सबको 
Lord Shri Krishna is giving us hope and empathizing with us that don't worry and whatever is necessary for you to live in this world of material existence and so whatever work is required to give that and I will provide you that not because it is my responsibility but because it is my intrinsic nature but you only have to do one thing that is that you should surrender to me and chant and meditate upon my name and if arjuna says that what if we don't meditate on you so krishna says in the next verse he says if you worship the demigods then you will go to heaven or Swargaloka, which is a part of this material existence. And you cannot cross this material world. If Arjun asks that, I don't want to worship you, then he says that if you don't, if you worship the demigods, then you will go to heavenly planets. And sometimes people worship their ancestors. And if you worship your ancestors, then you will go to Pitrilok where you won't even have facility to eat. And some people even worship ghosts. And those who worship or meditate upon ghosts will go to the ghosts. And lastly, he says, Hey Arjun, na, who worships me, he will get my eternal abode or Vaikuntha. And it is mentioned that the place where if someone goes, he will never come back is Vaikuntha. So, so he explains that if you don't worship me, then you will go to the respective planets of the demigods, etc. Then if Arjuna asks that, how should I worship you? Because the world is filled with so many <laughs> fake or hypocrite sages etc so it's better that you only tell us that how we should pray or do devotional service towards you so please let us know the process of your veneration So in the 26th verse of 9th chapter of Bhagavad Gita, Krishna mentions Krishna, aapki puja kaise hogi? So how should Krishna be worshipped? So Krishna says that so patram that means the leaves of Tulsi Devi that is the leaves of Tulsi Maharani. So there are quite a few things in this to offer to Lord Krishna but the first thing is Tulsi Patram or the leaves of Tulsi Ji. 
So at the battlefield of Kurukshetra, in the speech towards Arjuna, Krishna remembers indirectly Tulsi Maharani and tells that you should worship me first of all with Tulsi Maharani. And if you don't serve with Tulsi leaves, then all your fruits, flowers, water, etc. will be futile as I will not accept anything without Tulsi leaf. So we just, I just don't need much, but if you offer Tulsi leaf, fruit or flower or water, I accept it with love and I become their beloved and they become my beloved. So in Srimad Bhagavatam, 10th Canto 35th chapter, there are quite a few songs in Bhagavatam, Gopi Geet, Rudra Geet, etc. So similarly, there is a Yugal Geet. So by the mercy of our Guru Maharaj, we have heard from him in detail at the shores of Haridwar or the shores of Ganga river at Haridwar. So, Yugal Geet is a big chapter. We will listen it in detail some other time. But in the 10th canto, 35th chapter of Srimad Bhagavatam, there is a mention of the glories of Tulsi Maharani. Sometimes people ask that where is the mention of Tulsi Maharani's magnificence in Srimad Bhagavatam. So here is the reference in front of your screen. Tilako Namala Divya Gandha Tulasi Madhumate Ali Kulera Lagugi Tamavishtam ಆದ್ರಿಯನಯರಹಿಸಂಧಿತ चेतस एत्य हरि मुपासत तेयत चीता हंत मिलीत द्रिशो द्रूत मोना दर्शनीय तिल कोवन माला दिव्य गंध तुलसी मधुमाते युगल गीत है ये सो इन द युगल गीत फ्रॉम श्रीमद् भागवतम which is being sung by the gopis and she says while singing that in this world there is only one thing to see in this world and what is it and 
वॉट इज इट दैट इज द तिलक ऑन फोर हर्ड ऑफ लॉर्ड श्री कृष्ण एंड वन माला लाइक द फाइव टाइप्स ऑफ फ्लावर गॉर्लैंड इन द नेक ऑफ लॉर्ड श्री कृष्ण सो फॉर तिलक देर इज वन वर्ड फॉर वन माला देर इज वन वर्ड बट फॉर तुलसी महारानी देर इज अज a full shlok a verse why because she is glorious so kya kehte that is why krishna also remembers tulsi maharani first in bhagavad gita so what does he says here vastav mein dekhne layak yadi koi so the gopi say that there is only gandh wali tulsi lagni hui hai aur us tulsi ki thing to see is the tulsi leaf at the lotus feet of lord shri krishna which has sandalwood paste and the bees are getting ecstatic by its fragrance and these bees are getting love towards the lord and they are singing beautiful songs bhavro ke sath adriyan arhi sangeet venu bhagwan shri krishna basuri baja rahe hain and with along with that krishna is playing his flute pehle shlok mein situation so this is the situation in the first verse and second in the second verse it's mentioned that what is exactly happening so initially she says that look that this beautiful feet of the lord which are decorated by the tulsi leaf with sandalwood paste on it and after seeing this sarasi saras hans sarasi mane sarovar mein saras pakki hote hain this say that there is a swan who after seeing the lord's beauty they get attracted to the lord and all the birds and animals are getting attracted towards the lord हंत मिली दृशो द्रुत मौन मौना और सब लोग चित्रवत और मौना माने मौन हो चुके मतलब कोई ऑल द लिविंग लिविंग एंटिटीज हैव बिकम घटना घटती है मतलब अचानक से कोई कोई मतलब कोई बुरा स्टोन और द शॉक आफ्टर सीइंग समथिंग स्ट्रेंज और ब्यूटीफुल पीपल बिकम काम और कंसंट्रेट on the form of the lord so not only the living entities or human beings but even the birds the animals the trees etc also get attracted to this beautiful form of the lord which is decorated with tulsi leaf decorated with sandalwood paste and who is being attracted attracting the bees so if we serve tulsi maharani then we will be ecstatic in our pure devotional service towards the lord so that's the reason shivji ne when shivji was asked by kartik ji why shiv ji kehte hain tulsi ji is considered so auspicious and so much glorious so shiv ji asks that tells him that tulsi ji is all auspicious yadi koi tulsi ji ka shravan karta hai if somebody listens to tulsi ji ko grahan karta the past time of tulsi maharani or wears tulsi ji or consumes tulsi 
leaves, then he will get the eternal abode of the Lord. And he says that, that the body of Tulsi Ji, that the root of Tulsi Ji, Lord Vishnu resides. And in the middle, Lord Brahma Ji resides. And in the Manjuris, manifest Lord Shiva. And if somebody is dead, and when he is getting cremated at that time, if somebody keeps Tulsi food at the cremation, then that living being will get relieved of the multiple innumerable sins and will get the eternal abode of the Lord. And if somebody makes food with Tulsi Ji wood and offer it to the Lord, then it gives the benefit or benediction of distributing the food like Meru Parvat. And if somebody offers a lamp with Tulsi, G's wood, then he gets so that one lamp offered is equivalent to 100 crores of offering the lamp to the Lord in Kartik month. And if we had known this before the Kartik month, then we would have all been been so benefited. So, if we rub the tulsi wood and make a paste, and if we put it on the Lord, then we get immense benefit. And if we offer a lamp by tulsi of tulsi wood, then we get pure devotional service of the Lord. So, Dharamraj or Yamraj ji, what does he say? So, Harad is a medicine and it removes all the diseases and in three four hours it empties all of our diseases from our stomach so similarly tulsi chi who someone who consumes tulsi chi gets rid of all his offenses and sins so this is the glory of Tulsi Maharani. So tomorrow we will discuss about the glories of Tulsi Ji from Ramayana and Chaitanya Charita Amrita. Tomorrow we will discuss that. And we'll discuss these divine transcendental pastimes. And tomorrow is the last day of this beautiful Bhagavatam Katha. And we are proceeding towards the Purn Ahuti of this Katha Yagna. And you all have heard this Katha with so much love, patience and care. So I'm very grateful and especially to the organizers, the Sharma family, Shalu Mataji, Shamanan Prabhuji, Madhavi Mataji, Nitai, Vrindaman, in the reverie of Satyam Sharma ji and Suri Mata ji. And let's end this session by Jay Jaykar.